What's well, crack lacking gangsters? In this tutorial, we're going to learn some awesome stuff about forms, creating an HTML form. As you can see here, we have a first name, last name, even a password input, and a checkbox to subscribe so we can spam people, and some radio buttons to select what gender you are. So that's pretty cool. Check it out. What's going on guys? Welcome to your next tutorial. Uh, pretty much the last thing that we need to learn about in HTML is creating a form because every website has a form. You need to sign up for the website, you need to register, or you need to send an email or contact uh, the website owner. All those are done with forms and so that's a vital part of HTML and then we're going to move on to CSS after this tutorial. So that's pretty exciting. We're still going to learn HTML throughout this course, um, but as for now, this is pretty much the core basics of HTML besides some organization stuff that we'll learn once we get into the CSS. So let's create a new page within our website that's going to be a login page. Um, again, we won't actually be able to process this information yet. Uh, since we don't have any uh, back-end um, work. That's what we're going to do when we get into PHP. But we're going to create a new page anyways. Um, and actually, let's make this... Now, we'll still stick with HTML because it is HTML course. Uh, but let's do login.html. So it already set up some stuff for us within uh, NetBeans, which is pretty cool. We don't really care about that for now. We're going to jump into the body and create our form. Don't worry about what the div tag is. That's what I was talking about uh, that we'll learn about in the future is uh, categorizing and organizing things with div and span tags. But again, that comes, comes down to uh, CSS and understanding that as well. So this is pretty much the last HTML course. Um, we're going to learn about uh, forms. So we need to create a form pretty simple right so within a form there's a bunch of different elements uh, generally it's an input field that you're gonna work with um, so let's just create a simple form uh, something like first name and then we're gonna create uh, input for this form and how you do that is just type input and then you give it a type this is what I'm talking about there's different types it could be a button it could be a checkbox as you can see there's a bunch of different stuff down here for the type we're gonna just actually type text so that's gonna be input type of text that the person puts in uh, the next next attribute that we need is something called name and we're just going to give this uh, something like first name and what name means is when we process our form when we um, push this information to the processing and make it happen it's going to look for the name and that's how it's going to recognize what this actually is so eventually we're going to save this information in a database and it's going to say hey what is the name of this input field and it's like first name okay well I'm gonna save that to the first name uh, column in our database and it's gonna be stored there so we actually know what the first name is so that's pretty important for any form element is having a name again this is kinda of difficult to understand as of right now since we're just learning HTML once we get into processing forms within our PHP section um, that'll become way more important um, but as for now, we're just creating a simple form. So first name, last name. Let's create a password. And there's actually something built in the HTML that blocks out whatever kind of text input there is. And that's by using the password type. Pretty self-explanatory. Again, this is just something that you're going to have to get familiar with as you're uh, coding your awesome website. That's going to make you millions, millions and millions of dollars. So again, this input type is just going to be a... Um, blocked out password and as you can see all the input types are pretty familiar all that changes is the type so let's even create a checkbox so generally there's like a uh, something like subscribe to mailing list or something like that and that's going to be a checkbox uh, type and again, the name, we want to say something like mailing uh, subscriber. So something simple like that. So we can just check this form out already and see if it's actually doing anything. So we're going to go back to our local host. And instead of index.html, we're going to go to login.html. And we got something set up. Again, it doesn't look exactly like we'd like. Um, but that comes down to CSS. And actually, we could put these on. We could put break statements or break little tags after each one of these and you know have it be vertical like you'd expect 
but as you see we have a checkbox we have a password field um, we also have last name and first name so that's kind of how it looks so far which is pretty awesome another thing that's generally within a form is something called radio buttons and those are just those buttons that you can toggle between so we're just gonna again do our input field and actually let's add some break statements to this so it makes makes our form a little bit nicer uh, pretty awesome it's gonna be a type of radio again radio buttons are just like you know those old school radios half of you probably have never seen them but you can't uh, like when you push the play button um, and it was the stop button was pushed the stop button would pop up and then the play button would pop or be pressed down so that's where the name came from is like those old school radios and so I don't know if that helps you remember uh, radio buttons but um, again it's just something that comes with time so we're gonna say name this is gonna be uh, your sex and it's gonna be like uh, male or female uh, again typical um, typical input for some type of form like this and I'm actually gonna um, misspell this name real quickly and if we save this and go back to our form as you can see now we can actually check both of these check boxes or I'm sorry we can check both of these radio buttons that's because they have a different name value if the name value is the same then our browser knows that these are in the same grouping and only one could be selected so if we go back and actually change this to both have the name value of sex and save and reload our page it's gonna be just as you'd expect so you can only pick one or the other when our form is processing this information specifically for the radio buttons it won't know what the value is it's like okay well I know that this input with the name of sex is something but I don't don't know exactly what that is so what we're gonna pass into the processor is an a value so that's another attribute of um, a radio button or pretty much any HTML element will have a value and we're gonna have this value just be like male or the value of female so then it knows hey which one of these radio buttons was checked or which is being processed throughout this form for the name of sex and it's either gonna say male or female now because we're passing this value in when it gets processed again this is gonna be uh, solidified once we actually start creating our real real live website and uh, working with PHP um, but again we're getting close to that because this is pretty much all we need to know for HTML at this point and we can actually start developing our website so that's pretty awesome guys again congrats for making it this far I know it's kind of boring a little bit it's also kind of exciting because we're learning like so much stuff and once we start using this more often the sky's the limit guys seriously there's a bunch of subscribers that have created successful Android apps when I uh, taught Android courses and it's I'm, I'm excited to see what you guys come up with after getting through this course just stick with it uh, thanks again guys subscribe like share the video and have a great rest of your day